Auto Gemini, what's doing? We're gonna do your reading, because that's what we do for what the fuck is it? Mid-December to January, right? So Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is for the sign of Gemini and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. Resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, away it goes, because there's no point in worrying about shit that has nothing to fucking do with you. Right, right. Uh, I do say a lot of naughty words, so if you don't like that, I'm sorry. I'm probably not the person for you, and I'll probably end up hurting you more than you will me. I promise you that. You want a personal? It's on the description box below. Newcomers. First one's free on the house. So, enjoy that shit. Also, just so you guys know, I'm going to be doing the New Year's reading. So there will not be a bonus reading. And I won't do the Zodiacs till after, when I do, until I do the uh, mid-Januarys is when I'll do it. So, that's where we'll start that back up again, okay? Okay, but that's just going to be a year review for you, and you can go with it. I already have the one from last year up somewhere. I just don't know where. But anyway, Gemini and cross watchers alike. Your energy is the king of pentacles and the situation is you're waiting on a message for something so you know what the fuck to do. Your wants and wishes. Ten of swords, reverse. Obstacles and challenges is the three of pentacles. Are you having a hard time working with somebody? Or dealing with somebody in particular? At least that's what I'm getting. You. Here's our deductions. Ten of Wands. Reverse. You got two tens here, man. How the shit starts, how it'll end. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone's waiting to make a move, and someone's steadily doing the work, but they're overburdened. This person has a lot of potential to um, do something, but they don't know what the fuck to do. Right? It's like, oh, I got all this shit going for me, but I haven't heard dick. I am way overburdened. I could use a break because I'm doing a lot of shit. And it's like the both of you are bound, but you don't know how to work with each other almost. What's the beginning theme? Gemini and cross watchers alike. The bad ending cycles, starting new cycles, getting my coffee cup because, you know, coffee is fucking life, man. It really is. Like, I don't care if Anark is the person who got me into coffee. I like fucking coffee. It's probably a horrible thing. Um, but you guys have the world. So there might be a completion somewhere, or you guys are looking to start something new. Whether it's the way you think it's going to be, it'll go the way you want it to. All that jazz, right? Right. Ah, coffee. Best thing ever, man. Like, I don't care if a fuck if it's an addicted substance, it's fucking legal. Let me have my shit, you know. Somebody said that. I don't know who said that, but somebody said that. And I and I wholeheartedly agree. So let's see what all the elements to this shit is, right? Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Someone was a sour puss and left with their fucking feelings, right? Betraying someone, Ten of Swords, once again. And now, someone sits there and looks at everyone like they're a fucking snake. That's tragic. I know that feeling, though. I know that feeling. Like, trust nobody. Anyway, Gemini, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, for sure. All of the other elements are out here, though, except for water, so... King of Pentacles. Definitely could be a Virgo. Might be coming out of isolation. Or that could be you, a Gemini and Cross Watcher. Coming out of shit because there's just some things that you just can't get over, but it's time to go do some shit, right? But it's gonna probably leave you a bit of a sour patch. Esther, the Queen of Wands, right there has her back turned and she's pissed because they built the statue of her tits wrong. One's way bigger than the other. <laughs> And they glued the nipples on instead of carving them out. Who knows why? Who fuck knows why? But we don't ask questions here. We don't judge. Hmm. Situation with this Eight of Wands. Waiting for that message. 
You're waiting. You like you're using your intuition. It's like I know something. I know something, and as soon as I fucking have confirmation of knowing it, that's when I'm gonna make my moves. You know. Ooh. And that's going to definitely prep you to take action to want to leave, but it feels like you're a little bit suffocated. All right. Ten of Swords, Reverse, and the Wants and Wishes. Torture, though. Never-ending torture at that. Like, never getting out of the box. Yeah. All because, like, you can't get over the feels. You know? People probably aren't, like, treating you or talking you to you the way that you feel like is acceptable, so you're kind of reflecting that shit back. Be like, oh, I guess this is how we're going to play today. Okay. And this is all just to avoid a tower, which is dealing with this. Okay, Gemini and Crosswatcher, I don't want to be that guy, right? Let me turn this down some because it's kind of loud. At least that portion is. I don't want to be that guy, right? Who's like, just letting you know, you know, you being upset is making things worse because I don't think it's necessarily it, but it's like, there's so much shit coming your way and making you vibe a certain way that it is making you react in the exact same way. And then it's almost like people push that on you. Like it's your fault. You know, and then it's just like, why are you giving me shit for? I haven't even done anything. Well, mama, mama, I'm not you too. Why are you being so mean? You know, like they come at you with shit and then like, they give you shit for giving the exact same thing back. You know, obstacle and challenge with this is actually trying to work with these people, I feel like, because they're all three different people. Three different minds, three different creativities, right? We have an Empress here, could be a mother figure, could be Taurus, Libra, Aries, a Venetian energy, mother figure, wife, sister, aunt, whatever. You know. She's sitting over here by herself, but here are some people coming up to do, looking for advice or some negotiations or some sh stuff. Like, someone could try to go to this um, Empress if she's supposed to be this dude right here. For advice or assistance or some shit. Hmm. It's like this mother figure. She could definitely help out, but she wants you to kiss her ass or worship her feet. Because, you know, this is like a worship card. This is the Seven of Cups right here. It's like wonder, it's like confusion. It's also a little bit of addiction, too. It's like this person wants you to depend, to depend on them. Or that could be you, Gemini and Crosswatcher. It could be that. But it's like, in order to work with this person, you're just going to have to, like, act obsessed with them. Which is, like... Kind of annoying, I feel like. Fears and rejections. The Ten of Wands reverse. Ah, uh, we got Betty. She's not only bored, but she is pissed. Water sign. Cancer. Pisces. Scorpio. Right? And someone sees her for the dangerous shit she is. Oh, goodness. All right. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Pretty much everyone's on the board now. Hmm. Someone's overburdened because they see a water sign is nothing but fucking danger. And Gemini, that could be you looking at this person like, mm, you might be trouble. But it also might cause you to realize that like someone is keeping themselves back. And they've been doing it to themselves this entire time. Like whoever this water sign is, who like, or whoever this person emulates with this energy, who's like bitter and bored and has nothing good to say or... Never produces anything that, like, is really, like, you know, I guess. Happy or whatever? I don't know. It's just she's in constant bitch mode. Bored bitchy Becky. You know, to any Beckys out there, I apologize for the bitchiness I have bestowed upon you, but someone has to be that bitch, man. And that's who you are. Be prideful, Beckys of the world. 
But yeah, it's like... You don't want to deal with this motherfucker, and you're staying at a distance, but after a while, it's kind of like, I feel like I'm trapping myself for no reason, and I need to get out of this scenario, you know? How this shit starts, how it'll end, coming full cycle to this circle. Eight of Pentacles. I'm working, he says, as he's just galloping closer, shoving his cup in your face, being like, do you not see the work that is betrayed upon me? Or some shit, right? Definitely could be a water sign who's just acting like a dickhead to you. You know. Uh, just so they can have their supremacy. But remember, like, he popped up earlier. Look at that fucking snakes. So take that as you will. And someone might just end up choosing a different Betty because someone has an attitude. Hmm. And this one's a redhead too, just like the King of Wands. Like, this dude has an attitude. His emotions are a bit miffed. And someone might choose... And someone might have chose somebody else other than him. That might be the problem. That might be why he looks at everyone like they're a fucking snake. Gemini and Crosswatcher. Whoever this fire sign is. What's the ending thing, please? Resurrection with the new beginning. So whatever you thought was dead is probably going to come back, but I don't know how you feel about that just yet. Mmm. Goddamn coffee, you're so good. Excuse me while I orgasm over my cup. <laughs> Let's see. Clarifying the energy. Someone got hoodwinked and caught in their own shit. That's what that problem is. <laughs> That's probably why this Queen of Wands is all pissed off. It's just like, oh yeah, thanks for letting me know, you dickweed. You know? But they're not about to communicate in order to fix shit. Like, someone literally got caught up in their own bullshit, but they ain't about to say shit. Well, uh, well, well, they're talking to me about random shit, so I guess they don't care about what happened before. And it's like, dude, like... <clears throat> you know, bad seeds. Just because someone doesn't bring it up does not mean that you don't bring it up either. You know, people got questions, but they're too scared to ask because their feelings could get hurt. Let's see. The situation... Yeah, someone no longer wants to, like, lay their swords here. They're trying to get out. It's just really, really feeling cagey about it, though. Like, limited resources to get out. But they will get out, and they will get out of the cold, even if they have to carry their own shit and force everybody else to watch them do that, right? All right. Wants and witches, a Geminis and cross watchers. Someone just wants to drag you through the fucking fire and burn your goddamn skin off and be like, oh, well, we got like three kids, we can just make more of you. Get in here, little t t Tina. I almost said Timmy, but that's a girl. It's like the mom's dragging the daughter through fire and hell for whatever reason. But that shit will not be successful. Like, whoever's trying to burn up somebody else's happiness is, is not going to be successful. Um, it's gonna look like a shit move, to be honest. Actually, it'll look poorly on the person trying to do that to the kid. So I hope it's not you, Gemini and Crosswatch. Yeah, only one more. Or two more, okay. What, three more? Well, you guys can stay there. Yeah. You're at a crossword with this situation because it's just like... it's it, And like that's the Eight of Pentacles, too. So it could be this bro... This dude over here trying to set it up to where like you know uh, it works in his favor like he's working on that right here but up here in the wants and wishes it's not gonna work because it's like bro you're just helping me out at this point like you're giving me the leverage I need to get past this uh, pinnacle point in my life where you know I got obstacles I got challenges and it's time for me to surrender something and since you want to step up and do dumb shit I guess you're the fucking sacrifice you know like you're it's like kind of going like that like thanking the person who tried to hurt you the most because they put you in a better position right yeah 
Like, they're sitting there looking over at you like you're the fucking problem, when in reality, they're the scorned woman who decided to th throw away their, like, kind nature. Or try to get you out of your kind nature, make an ass of yourself, just so they can verify their own shit. You know, like, I knew that they were fucking trash, you know? It's like they want to confirm their own fears before even approaching you to test whether or not you're authentic in what you're saying or not. It's like they're trying to, uh... Oh, what am I thinking? Entrapment. It's almost like entrapment. I just realized I didn't write a title down for any of these videos. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll figure it out once I get there. Let's see. Obstacle and challenge. Someone might leave somebody to fucking drown and regret it. But that's just like fucking feelings. It was supposed to happen that way. Like that person might not even give a shit that you did it either. Because it worked out in their favor. Or someone's doing that to you, Gemini and Crosswatcher. Either or. Um, someone gets abandoned and betrayed. But... No hard feelings, because it worked out for the better for them. The world became complete once again. Everything's here. Everything's set up. The magician has her tools, right? All right. Fears and rejections. Might have to drive a bitch or two away. Might. Just might. Because they keep setting you up for dumb shit. It's like every time you give this person the chance not to fuck up, they go and fuck up. And then like when they fuck up to the point where it affects you, they want to come in looking like a hero. Like, I did a good thing. You're the reason why we got robbed, motherfucker. But I helped you. You freaking had all their stuff in my car and didn't tell me. But I saved you from them murdering them. They wouldn't have murdered me if you would have done the right damn thing. You know, like that, that kind of shit, right? Like, you might be afraid of driving these people away, even though you know they put you in bad situations over and over again, Gemini. Whether it's because you're attached to these people, I don't fucking know. But it's like, no matter what, in the end, they always give you fucking bullshit. Literally, because he's rubbing the pentacle on the bowl in order to make it smell shitty. Like, they'll deplete your fucking funds, and then you feel like you gotta sabotage the relationships in order to get rid of them. Let's see. Final cards. How this shit starts and how it will end. You just want to have a good old goddamn time. Just, that's it. That That's all there is. You're done. You at least want to take a nap from this Ten of Wands situation once again, which is up here. But you might actually have to pour your feelings out in order to deal with this train wreck, if you will. So, that's the readings I got for you, Geminis and Cross Watchers. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. It's all up to you. No biggie. Right? But, I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Please be good or be good at it and don't get fucking caught. I'll see you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.